Hey guys, Zator here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a Reese base. Now this is actually something that's very easy to do. All you have to have is a an oscillator that has two outputs. Um, so in this case I'm going to be using Citrus. Um, well, I say two outputs, it just really needs two oscillators here because we're going to be using the two oscillators to create the racing effect. I'm using Citrus because it has six. You can use whatever Harmer works, uh, 3, 3x oscillator works, pretty much anything that you can just output raw sine waves with and then modify them later. So with this, we have two sine waves going straight out. It's just pure bass. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to detune the second one. And in this case, I'm going to turn it up. You can also turn it down, but I turn it up. Doesn't really matter. Gives you pretty much the same effect. But this is actually creating the Reese. Now, the higher up you go on the detune, you're going to get a faster Reese. Uh, so this is 0.26, and then this is 0.25. Um, and what this is going to sound like is just a very vibrato e sine wave. pretty straightforward but the reasoning is coming from the phasing that we're getting from these two oscillators since one is out of um, out of phase with the other the volume will change based on the wave position so what we're going to do to actually create the Reese is distort them which can actually be a lot of fun all right so I'm gonna make this smaller all right so we have our two oscillators. I'm going to just assign it to channel one. And first thing I'm going to do is open up a parametric EQ so you guys can see what's going on. And here you can see that there is some volume change in the sine wave. And as you can see, as we go up in pitch, it's actually getting much faster. That's with the whole detune thing. If we actually bring it back, uh, or well, let's actually make it even faster. You see, now we're getting into the range where you can't even really distinguish one oscillation. You can if you go lower, but it is still incredibly fast, which is why I like 0.26. Not too fast, not too slow. So now what we're going to do is add a wave shaper and just crunch it. So that is the most basic re-space that you're going to get. This fits the description of a re-space. It's two oscillators where the, the phase offsets each other and you get this effect. By adding the distortion, it's just distorting and amplifying the effect that you're getting. And in this case, adding a whole bunch of high frequency um, activity. Now, one thing that can be a lot of fun to do is actually mess with the sine waves because we just have two basic sine waves here. You're, we're not doing much with them. So what you can actually do is you can say create one into a saw wave. Now there's so much high frequency content there that you might want to EQ that down a little bit. And there we have kind of like a spaceship kind of a vibe. And that is how a basic re-space is created. If you want to do something a little bit more complex, you can even mess with the, the wave itself. Because now we have some higher frequency content. That's incredibly sharp. And that is a very basic race base. Now I like to add a little bit of compression. I just like you can just throw a preset on there and you or you could actually take the time to master it yourself. But when we add a little bit of compression here, the levels are taken care of for us, which is quite nice. Now what we could even do here is add another wave shaper. I mean, this would might be taking a little bit too far. But from here, we can actually increase like the mid-range. And this gives us a little bit more defined of an effect. And 
and when you mess with the EQ, you can get a lot of different tones out of the Reese bass. There we get a little bit more of a grind. And it just basically changes up the tonality of it. Anyways, when you have your Reese bass all set up and everything, it pretty much is ready to be used in a song. There's not really a whole lot of modulation or anything to do. It's all doing it itself. And like I mentioned earlier, if you want it to go faster, you just turn up the multiplier. You can even go the other way and do extremely slow. So there you go. Use this. Have fun. Anyways, I'm Zator. See you guys.